Shaking off the informational grime, water preserves its basic structure, that is, the program for life. Einstein, for example, once said, I would like to know what he was thinking, meaning God. Everything else is just details, but I would like to know how he created this world. Everything begins in water. In a certain sense, we can say that everything originates in water, and in water, everything comes to an end. For all peoples, a person must be clean in order to stand before God. In all of the world's religions, water is a kind of intermediary that unites man with the Creator. The Jews perform ablutions or cleansing with water in mikvahs. For Muslims, ablution is a prerequisite for prayer. If we trace the references to water in the Holy Scripture, they are often associated with the idea of purification. This is most vivid, of course, in the narrative of the baptism of the Israelites in the River Jordan in the time of the prophet John, John the Baptist, the forerunner. John baptized with the baptism of repentance, and the image and symbol of people's repentance was immersion in the river. In the Christian church, there is the sacrament of baptism. First of all, why is it a sacrament? Because it remains ultimately hidden from us. What happens with a person at the moment of baptism? It is known that the divine energy, which in the language of the church we call grace, descends upon the person. There have been many wars on religious grounds in human history, but in our experiment, water reacted to individual words that had a religious content by forming beautiful crystals. This means that the conception of our nature coincides with each religion. The Christian Prayer The Buddhist Prayer The Muslim Prayer Dr. Emoto presumes that serious crimes are committed most of all in areas where people curse the most often. Idiot. I hate you. Laboratory containers of water were inscribed with hieroglyphs denoting words and the names of well-known people. Love, hope, soul, Mother Teresa, Hitler. Dr. Emoto's numerous experiments aimed at finding the word that cleanses water most powerfully have shown that it is not just one word, but a combination of two. Love and gratitude.
The universe was created by the absolute, by the source that produced all of which exists, all its material manifestations. Each of us has an element from the water of the primeval ocean. Our every word is like a water drop, a medium of thought, a source of information. And we are all here to repay the absolute with love and gratitude.